Hey. Okay, I'll drag us fun down. Hey. Hey. What's up, man? So. So. You. You. Think that you're gonna see the same problems in the classic release that you own the beta? Yeah. Of course. So like what? Like what? People will reach an apex of gear and they'll figure that they're not really, it's not worth continuing playing their character. They'll just get bored, they'll accomplish everything they want to accomplish in the game, and then they'll just move on to something else. But like, you realize how, how much longer it takes and how much harder it is to get to that point for like most players, right? Yes. At level 60, is it level 40? Did like I ever, 40, did I ever like, say any different? Well, you implied that it's, you implied that it's the same. Well, it is the same. It's just the life cycle is longer. Right, and so with a longer life cycle, that means there's more time. More time means more time until the next patch comes out. Oh, so, yeah. So, like, imagine imagine you have phase one, right? Phase one, you level a 60, you get your pre bis you kill rag, and the, the like, it doesn't just, like, stop. People don't get bored of, of doing MC and stuff. People don't get bored of doing the raids. Like, uh, about the hype beast, like, the big, like, hype beast viewership, like, oh, yeah, yeah, that's gonna go down. Like, that's kind of obvious, right? But as far as, like, the people who enjoy watching classic, like, those are still fun. Those are still entertaining. People want to watch, okay, they, they want to watch the storylines develop within your guild. They want to see, like, how people are going to do in the raids competitively. Like, it, it's the same thing. Like, you know, there's people who watch sports, right? And they watch sports against different people or whatever. They Like, they, they watch that every week, right? Every Sunday they watch football. Uh, for a lot of people, like watching the raids is like that, mm -hmm. and and that's something that like I realized this back whenever I was streaming private servers, and yeah, it was a totally different thing because like I, I had a lot less viewership, but well, it's like yeah. what the ceiling for that is, right? And uh, how, how many people are going to stay interested in it? Like for example, I mean, we cleared dead mines, hundred thousand viewers. Uh, we clear dead mines now, uh, you know. I, I'm pretty sure my viewers would go down because people have, right. already, have already seen it. And, and I but think like, that also... at that point, like, we, we cleared it like with, like, everything... Like, you, you had what you had, right? Yeah. And there's not much that changes. Throughout the course of Vanilla WoW and the development of your guild and everything like that, you see people getting new gear every week. You see people... New people are added to the guild. There's some kind of guild drama. People leave the guild. This happens. That happens. Uh, people enjoy watching these storylines. It's a lot like a reality TV show. Like whenever you're watching this kind of stuff, like if, if the guild itself is entertaining, like this, that's what happened with my guild. Well, you're and right. I, I think that you're right in that way that obviously, yes, if people stay invested in drama and I, I've used the analogy here with the uh, GTA RP, uh, I think that in the same way, GTA RP stays relevant because of the interactions between the players and the, uh, the people that are on the server. And uh, if that can be translated in the classic WoW in another way, then yeah, I think that it's absolutely possible that people could stay invested in it in, in a long term. But unless those people are emotionally invested in the game, right, and they care about that kind of stuff, it's, it's not going to be a big deal. And I don't think that's going to keep people invested in the same way that, you know, a new raid will or anything like that. And also, like, that kind of stuff, like, how often is guild drama really happening? You know, usually, like, it, most guilds are probably going to raid one to two days a week. Like, oh, they're, yeah. they're, they're going to be able to quit. I, I, presume, I presume in your guild there's going to be a lot of drama constantly. Well, I hope so. That's why I'm inviting random idiots. Yeah, I think it'll be really good. Like, actually. I'm planting seeds to create a garden of chaos. Yeah, I mean, I it's going to be great. Idea. But, uh, but no, the thing is, is that the players the streamers like we make a lot of the content right and oh, yeah. and to, to the same extent to the same extent i actually do think that bfa is a better streaming game than people give it credit for like what other game is there that you can just grab like 39 other people out of chat and be like hey guys group up with me and do this so to, to like to be fair like i do think bfa is a better stream game than people give credit for. but with classic <laughs> the the content is more game focused well, if right. it's well, I mean, in a way, yeah, and in a way, no, right? Because like what you were saying before, like with the uh, you know the drama and everything, keeping people invested long term, that's not game focused at all. That's player focused. That's individual focused. And, and those yeah, are the but, kinds. But of the game. But here's the thing: the game opens up those doors. Is my point. Okay. The game, like like the 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 design of the game, the mechanics of the game, kind of opens up the door for that to happen. 
So I, I do think this, like, I think you're right. Like, if, if you're grinding for High Warlord and you're just streaming AB Warsong and AV all day, every day, like, sure, th there's going to be a little bit of fatigue that comes from, from that. Well, well right? let me, like, let me I give personally am going to try to go for rank 14. Yeah. And, and I know that it's going to get, like, it's going to get monotonous, right? Yeah. But that's whenever, like, as a streamer, like, we got to find out, like, okay, like, we got to find a way to keep this entertaining, right? And it basically turns into a just chatting stream at that point. Well, at and that point, also, like, where, people think right? just make this entertaining is doing something else, right? Like, hey, here's an example. Give me seven examples of things that you can do in Classic Live that are interesting to a viewer. Seven examples. Yeah, seven okay. examples. Um, well, I think that, okay, so leveling up your character, right? Leveling up your character. Your max once, level. though, right? Once, okay. right? Um, well, it's also like things that are interesting to varying degrees. This is something else, right? Because like some people enjoy watching level up alts. Like a lot of the best like BFA streams, a lot of the best retail streams over the last couple of expansions have been leveling streams. McConnell and I were talking about this last year. Where it was like, McConnell's like, well, I don't want to level up an alt and, and stream that. And then it's like, well, think about it. Like some of the some of the most enjoyable streams for a lot of people are just where they're leveling and they're just talking to chat and they're having a good time. So I, I, I do think that you can I, I do think that you can level up alts too. It just like things are interesting to varying degrees. Uh, getting new gear, getting new gear is, all, is, is always interesting. That's like the most exciting thing that can happen, which was my big problem with Legion, right? My big problem with Legion is that you never got a weapon upgrade. And and I think that like whether you're a caster or a melee or whoever, a healer. Yeah, the relics didn't feel as good, you're right about that. Right. And I think that's the most exciting thing about Vanilla WoW, whenever you get a new weapon, because it generally makes a massive impact on, on the development of your character. Oh yeah. Like gear, whenever I got the whirlwind really axe, it was like okay. Yeah. And then you remember like you sit back and, and you remember those items. Like I, I remember the the day I got the onslaught girdle. Oh, yeah. I remember chromatic boots. I remember whenever I got Drake Talon pauldrons. Like I remember getting all these items because it made a huge impact on my character and how I played the game. And whenever that happens, your future streams end up getting better because your character is better, your character is stronger, it's more entertaining because then you start smoking people, right? I, I think that whenever you watch Classic WoW, it's a lot like whenever you play the game, right? You play the game and you know you talk about the journey and the development of, the, of your character throughout that. I think whenever you watch the streams, it is a lot like reality TV and, and you're like following along with the journey that the streamer is having with their character. No, I, I agree with you. I, I think that having like that, like creating the narrative, right? And I, I've even tried to do this in, inside of different streams, right? Is like create a narrative for your stream for it to follow so people can kind of be invested in, you know, the storyline of the stream. Uh, I think that's very important. But at the same time, I don't really see those things being able to hold people's attention in the long term i i, I just don't uh well, i and, mean and when it comes to content right yeah like you, you've played wow since like june 2006 right july but Something yes like that. yeah J july 2006 might have been late so, june i don't even remember yeah yeah it doesn't really matter right the, the point is is like you started playing it like next patch and pretty much since then you've had big periods of time between every patch, right? Whether that was Nax to Burning Crusade, whether that was pretty much any patch in Burning Crusade, Wrath of Lich King, you know, Wad was obviously a nightmare, right? With how long <laughs> it was between patches. Yeah. Vanilla WoW is different because you have a constant stream of content being provided to you through the amount of updates there are to the game. Uh, this was like the the big reason that I was against like only four phases of content release because I think that's what makes the game interesting is whenever they're constantly making updates. So whenever they made it six, six is is less than the eleven patches that they have, sure, but enough is going to change in those basically pairs of patches, the, the phases, in a frequent enough time that it's still going to be really really interesting. Like, imagine you play the game and you have basically two and a half to three and a half months and then Dire Maul drops after two and a half, three and a half months. Right. Again, after after a couple months, then you have the next phase. Then you have the next phase. Then you have the next phase. Then all of a sudden it's like you have Dire Maul, you have uh, Blackwing Lair hit, you have ZG hit, the Emerald Dragons, the world bosses are in. After that, you have AQ-40. Like, well, it, I, just I think that we're, I, I think basically the, the conversation is more about the shelf life of each different type of individual content, right? So what I'm saying is like imagine that uh, uh, BWL comes out. What what comes out with BWL like the honor system and um, uh, you know a few other things. 
how long do you think that will be compelling for an average player? Uh, I think that a lot of people consider BWL patch to be like the best patch. Um, and and like, like I said before, like you're going to have the hype beast, right? Like you're going to have the big spike for the hype beast, but and, and then it's going to drop off, right? But oh, yeah. I do think the people that enjoy watching Classic WoW are going to continue to enjoy Classic WoW. And you got to look at it from a different perspective from, okay, so for me, right? That's I the same with any game though. I mean, like people enjoy watching Mythic Plus for some reason. Yeah, exactly. Uh, but I do think that there's going to be a big audience for Classic because it's going to allow you as the streamer to, to do a lot of stuff, uh, to, to kind of have control of your stream. And it, dude, this is the WoW section. WoW section is glorified just chatting section. Like, newsflash or hoodie. Like, that's that's what it is. Like, that's think very about true. it. Like, we, we sit in the WoW section, we watch videos, we talk to our chat, and like, the, the rest is background noise, right? That's what it is in the WoW section right now. Yeah. Um, un unless there's new content, right? So the content in Classic WoW things develop slowly enough to where, it, honestly, it gets drawn out a little bit and you feel the impact of the development of your character throughout that time. Mm -hmm. So it, it's not like it, it's not like BFA, it's not like retail where it's like, okay, boom, 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 what's my item level at? Okay, good. We got the item level high enough. I got my 404 blue punch card. I'm all good, right? Like, it, it's it's not like that, right? You you develop it over a stronger or longer period of time, and it feels really, really good when your character gets strong. Oh, no, I, I think that it will. It's just the thing is that people are going to obviously follow, and, and this is like kind of two different things, right? Is you're kind of comparing, there's like two different conversations that are happening simultaneously, right? One conversation is that how long are people and players going to stay invested, and the other conversation is how long are viewers going to stay invested. In my opinion, I think the viewership uh, it will will decline rather sharply. Uh, I'm not going to say like, oh my god, it's just going to die in like one day or something like that. But I think that after people hit 60, after they do Molten Core, the first Molten Core clear is going to be a fucking blowout event, and then by the sixth one, nobody's going to care. And I think people are really going to want to watch the first of everything. But then after the first of something, people aren't really going to give a shit about it to begin with, right? And you can even compare that to BFA. You know, the world first kill of Mythic Jaina, for example, uh, got something like 80,000 views. Uh, the world second kill, I don't even know if they streamed it, right? It, it's like nobody really gave a shit. And, and so the interest in this type of content declines rapidly after somebody's already seen it once. Now, well, whenever you compare that with the fact that the content is finite, there's basically a finite amount of times that excitement can occur. Right. But the same thing goes for Retail WoW. But the difference right. is that Retail WoW is having content developed for it more regularly. And also Retail WoW, like for however many people want to complain about cross realm zones and everything, Retail WoW has more has less barriers for players to interact with each other. Like if I wanted to go play with Sidu right now, I could go play with Sidu right now. True, uh, that's true. And there's also a lot more opportunities for that to happen. Now, the problem is that Retail WoW is just in a very bad spot. Like, the game is just in a terrible spot right now. But I don't think that really takes away from the fact that it does have a lot of really positive streaming capabilities. Um, uh, yeah, I, like I said, I, I do think I do think Retail is a, is a lot better streaming game than people give a credit for. But, um, but I also think that just like the things to do in Vanilla WoW are more fun for more people. Like, I, I think, like, the, the world PvP and stuff that happens in Vanilla WoW, it's, it's yeah. more fun. The people get way more invested into what happens in Vanilla WoW than they do with Classic. Like, <laughs> remember the beginning of the beta? Mountain Dew, thank you for five subs. I appreciate like, that, man. How, thank you. Like, people were, like, hating each other. Like, that, like that's just stuff that happens, right? Uh, because, you mean, like, for, like, the stream sniping stuff, or...? Oh, well, it's not just stream sniping. Like, it's, it's natural... It, it's, like, a natural... Like these, these, these relationships or like the way you feel about things, it'll naturally occur, right? It's like, dude, frick, these guys again, right? Like, okay, like we gotta, we gotta deal with this guy. We gotta do this. We gotta do that. Yeah. Like going into Black Rock Mountain, like there's going to be people in Black Rock Mountain who are hanging out there all day ganking. That's what they're going to do. There's going to be no honor system at the beginning and they're still going to be there, right? Yeah. Dire Maul patch is going to hit. Dire Maul patch and PvP is going to hit at the same time. No battlegrounds. The entire world. It's it's gonna be like freaking like predator. Like you're you're in the jungle. You're going through Fairless. 
and everywhere you go, somebody's going to be trying to kill somebody. You get inside Dire Maw, you turn the corner, there's going to be a warrior and a mage, an orc warrior and an undead mage sitting on the corner of each side, and they're going to pop out, they're going to polymorph your friend, the warrior's going to charge you, and then they're going to kill you guys. Like, it's just, it's what's going to happen. Yeah. Uh, I mean, like, sure, and, but and it's just like... The world going to feel so dangerous that it makes it so exciting to watch. I don't know, man. Like, I, I feel like those, like, those PvP interactions, for example... I mean, I, I don't know how exciting that's going to be for, like, the long term. And I, I, I think that we can both agree that it's going to be exciting for people in the short term. But it's the same as, like, War Mode, for example. Like, War Mode was very exciting for people at the beginning, and then people lost interest because they've already seen this a dozen different ways. Uh, well, it's, it's also, there's so many ways to get out of it. Like, you literally just click a button, and, okay, no more War Mode. Well, you can always get out of it in, in like, in Classic 2. You literally just play another character, you watch a video, you get summoned out, you queue into a BG. I mean, there's a hundred right. ways of getting out of it in Classic 2. I mean, like, it's different, but it's also the but, same. But you can't, you can't keep doing, you can't keep doing what you were going to do. Right. So there's, there's more, like, riding on the line. Well, yeah, and but I think that's, like, that's not even good for viewership to begin with, though. Because if you're getting your content derailed and you can't do something, people are just going to get frustrated and watch something else. Maybe. Yeah, 100%. But you could also, like, just kill them. Uh, yeah, I mean, like, hypothetically. Which, which is what happened in the, in the tournament yesterday, in this tournament. Like, they were like, okay, let's avoid this. And it's like, why don't you just kill them? And they did, over and over and over again, until it was like, okay. Uh, you mean, like, the uh, the Alliance players? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's what we opted to do, and that worked really well for us. I, yeah, I was, that's what worked for us, too. Yeah, I mean, because we, we had, we had already talked about that before, and that was, like, why we were in that place. And, um, like, I, I can get that being exciting, right, for a while. But it's like, even with that tournament, I think tournament's a very good example you can even use. Uh, maybe the first couple of times that, like, people stream snipe the duels, it was, like, kind of funny for people to watch. But then after, like, four or five times, people were getting tired of it, and they were annoyed, and they just didn't want to watch that anymore. And that's why the interest declined. Like, the same thing happened with our tournament. Is like the the first like three or four times that it happened, it was like okay, this is something new and cool, and they want to see it happen. And then after after a while, they lose interest because they've already no, I mean, seen you're, it. You're talking about you're talking about something else. I'm talking about like just like the the how the game plays out naturally. You're talking more so about like getting stream sniped constantly, right? Well, I, I'm talking about the effect of stream sniping on people's engagement with the stream, right? So like it, it it's not getting stream sniped it's how does the viewer react to the event the content of being stream sniped right but then if like if you kill them and then you move on mm -hmm. I, I mean like, like you know what I'm saying like you just kill them well, yeah, but I mean, like, th that's not always possible, right? I mean, like, it it's hard to do that whenever you're outnumbered, like, five to one or something like that. Uh, I think that's very, very common. Yeah, no, that, that, that's true. That's true. Like, but I don't know. Like, it, it gets, I think it gets boring for everybody at a certain point. Like, it, it, as far as, like, the stream sniping. Like, I'm not talking about, like, stream sniping and stuff as much. I'm talking about, like, the game itself. I think, I think Classic will have enough frequent updates to the content that it's going to kind of keep feeding into itself and it's going to be a lot of fun. I think the game is way more casual friendly than the current game is for the average player, right? Like like outside of streaming, right? Well, I think so too because in cast in classic WoW, the casual player is guided much more than in retail WoW because so much more of the experience is in the leveling. And the leveling experience is very linear for a casual player. And one thing that casual players struggle with is being able to make, meet and make their own goals. So because Blizzard has created a goal system in Classic WoW that's very, very large, then there's going to be a lot of people that are going to stick with it for a long period of time. Well, so uh, you're I right, think, it is better for classic uh, for casual players. Well, I think like the I think the end goals are more apparent, and the there's like less of a guide on how to get there, and that's why I think it's good for casual players, right? So because it's it's so open ended. It's more, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's like way more open ended. And it's like okay, like I want to get my professions to three hundred, right? For example, right? But it's like it's not like okay, I can level up. Like I I don't even know. Like I don't care about professions retail anyway anymore. So like it's I don't think any I don't think Blizzard it. cares about them. 
Yeah, so it's kind of like it's kind of hard for me to speak to it as a comparison, but I remember it's yeah. like okay, you can build this and you get five points. You can build this and you get two points, and right. Uh, it, it it just seems it's like way easier to level your professions because you don't have to think as much about like okay, I need this many of this item. Okay, I have to go out and gather. Well, there's this. a lot of things, right? It's like even money. inventory is an issue in Classic WoW, right? How are you going to carry all this stuff for your professions? Like, it, it, there's like a thousand different annoyances uh, that have to deal with it. Right. But I, I do think those little things, they add up and they actually make for a good experience because then it feels really good whenever you accomplish those tasks. Yeah, I, like, I mean, I'm, I just, I, the, the point is that I want to make sure that people have like a, a realistic expectation going into this. And, and that's all I'm really trying to say is that like the game will be engaging for a while and it will be engaging much longer than like the beta will be. But I do think that those points of where you know the apex the plateau points will still occur and i think they oh, will well, occur yeah, very I mean, that, quickly that's without a doubt yeah like, and that's with literally that's with literally any game any pvd any base patch, game. anything yeah exactly like it'll it'll always come down right yeah well, I, w I would even say any game in general right where you're you're going to see it drop off and then something interesting happens oh a new fortnite season is out okay all the fortnite streamers all their all their viewership went up you know yeah uh, it's it's with like any game, uh, so yeah, that's like a natural thing. But that doesn't mean that the game got any worse, or that the the game got. It, it, it doesn't mean that the game like dropped in quality at all. But uh, I think more than anything, that's just naturally what happens. Like whenever whenever you have the hype beast come in, you have a hundred k views in dead mines, and then it kind of tapers off from there. Hey guys. Hey, what's up? Hey. Listen, this is real interesting shit. Uh, but here's the thing. Here's the thing. Mm -hmm. We have a schedule to keep. We have things to do. Today's a big stream. Big things are supposed to happen today. Before well, tomorrow. You, you get you get me and S Fund in one channel talking about Classic WoW. That's the whole stream. So yeah, <laughs> yeah that's well, pretty much how it goes. <laughs> yeah.